What if I told you that one of the most prominent stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse, is likely approaching its explosive demise? Imagine witnessing the spectacular death of a colossal star, an event that could outshine the full moon and transform the night sky into a stunning display of cosmic violence. Betelgeuse's impending supernova, which may seem like something in the distant future, is actually being signaled by strange behaviors that have been observed by astronomers over the last few years. But just how soon could this happen? And what does it mean for us here on Earth? Could this cosmic death blow affect our planet, or will it just be a grand spectacle far off in space? The universe is home to many mysteries, and some of those mysteries are as close to us as the stars themselves. While we are all familiar with our own sun, the star at the center of our solar system, there are far grander stars out there, some of which dwarf our sun by enormous margins. One of these stars, Betelgeuse, is located around 650 light years away from Earth in the constellation Orion, and it's known for its massive size and striking appearance. While it may seem like just another point of light in the night sky, Betelgeuse has been the subject of intense scientific study and fascination for decades. And now, astronomers are beginning to notice something unusual, something that could hint at the star's upcoming transformation into a spectacular supernova. Our Sun, by comparison, is an average star in terms of size and luminosity. With a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers, the Sun is far larger than Earth, with the ability to fit over 1.3 million Earths inside its vast, glowing sphere. Its powerful light and heat are the source of life on Earth, and in the grand scheme of things, it's a rather stable star. But when we look at other stars in the universe, the picture changes dramatically. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, is anything but average. In fact, this star is an absolute cosmic giant. With a diameter 800 times that of our sun, Betelgeuse is so large that you could fit nearly 500,000 suns inside it. That's the kind of scale we're talking about here, an unimaginable size that stretches far beyond the boundaries of our everyday understanding. But size is not the only thing that sets Betelgeuse apart. Its luminosity, or brightness, is another jaw-dropping feature. Betelgeuse shines around 10,000 times brighter than the sun, making it one of the most luminous stars in our part of the galaxy. And despite being 650 light-years away, this powerful star is visible to the naked eye, even from Earth. If you live in the northern hemisphere and you look up at the night sky during the winter months, you've likely seen Betelgeuse shining brightly as the red-orange star on the shoulder of the constellation Orion. For centuries, people have admired its beauty and significance, with ancient civilizations tracking it as a key feature of their astronomical calendars. However, just like all things in the universe, Betelgeuse is not a static, unchanging object. In fact, it's a variable star, meaning that its brightness fluctuates over time. This variability is a natural characteristic of stars like Betelgeuse, which expand and contract as they age. This pulsation of a red supergiant is directly linked to the star's life cycle. As it ages, Betelgeuse swells up, and its outer layers fluctuate, causing changes in its brightness. For instance, Betelgeuse has been observed to expand and contract by about 15% in size over regular cycles. These pulsations are part of the normal ebb and flow of the star's life. But, as astronomers have discovered, the fluctuations of Betelgeuse aren't always as predictable as one might think. In late 2019, astronomers were left stunned by an unexpected drop in Betelgeuse's brightness. The star began to fade dramatically, with its luminosity dropping to less than 40% of its normal value. Such a sharp and prolonged decrease in brightness was unprecedented for Betelgeuse, and it caused a wave of excitement and concern in the scientific community. Could this sudden dimming signal something more dramatic than just a typical fluctuation? Was Betelgeuse preparing to enter the final stages of its life and explode as a supernova? Or was this just another mysterious phase in its ever-changing existence? As astronomers scrambled to explain what was happening, several theories were proposed. Some researchers believed that the dimming was simply part of a natural cycle of brightness changes, with Betelgeuse undergoing overlapping brightness variations. Others, however, speculated that the dramatic dimming could be an early sign of a supernova. 
After all, red supergiants like Betelgeuse are nearing the end of their life cycles and are on the verge of a cataclysmic death. In a process that occurs once the star runs out of fuel in its core, the core collapses, and the outer layers of the star are blasted into space in a massive explosion known as a supernova. If Betelgeuse was indeed experiencing such a dimming, perhaps it was preparing for that fateful moment. However, in the summer of 2020, scientists were able to offer an explanation that provided some relief. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that Betelgeuse had ejected a huge cloud of hot, dense material into space. This material eventually cooled and condensed into cosmic dust, which temporarily blocked much of the starlight reaching Earth. This dust cloud created a veil that obscured our view of the star, making it appear far dimmer than usual. In other words, Betelgeuse wasn't losing its energy or heading towards a supernova, it was simply that the light was being blocked by a large cloud of dust. Once the dust settled, Betelgeuse began to shine more brightly again, and astronomers could breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that the star wasn't about to explode just yet. Despite this explanation, the mystery of Betelgeuse's behavior didn't end there. In 2023, something unusual occurred once again. Betelgeuse began to shine brighter than it had in years. This sudden increase in luminosity sparked fresh interest in the star, as scientists wondered if this was another sign of a significant change in the star's behavior. Was Betelgeuse beginning to enter the final phases of its life, or was this simply another part of its unpredictable variability? The fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness have captivated astronomers, and they continue to study the star closely to understand the reasons behind these changes. But whether the changes are part of a natural cycle or an early sign of its eventual supernova, one thing is certain, Betelgeuse will eventually meet its explosive end. The big question is when. Some scientists believe that Betelgeuse will undergo its final transformation in the distant future, perhaps 1.5 million years from now, while others suggest a much tighter time frame. The star could go supernova within the next 100,000 years a blink of an eye in the cosmic scale of time. Whenever it happens, the explosion will be one of the most spectacular cosmic events we could ever witness. So, what exactly happens when Betelgeuse explodes? The supernova of a star like Betelgeuse will be a truly awe-inspiring event. Currently, the star is already 10,000 times brighter than our sun, but researchers believe that when it goes supernova, it will shine an additional 16,000 times brighter. The star's final death throes will cause a dramatic increase in luminosity, possibly to a level comparable to the brightness of the full moon, or even brighter. From Earth, the explosion would be impossible to miss, lighting up the sky in a way that would be visible to the naked eye for days or even weeks. However, before you start worrying that this explosion could bring harm to our planet, there's no need for alarm. While the death of a star like Betelgeuse will undoubtedly be a breathtaking display of cosmic power, the effects on Earth are likely to be minimal. A supernova of this magnitude could produce a gamma-ray burst, a powerful, high-energy explosion of radiation that could potentially cause harm to planets within its direct line of sight. But fortunately for us, Betelgeuse's axis of rotation does not point toward Earth. The gamma rays released during the supernova will not be strong enough to have any significant impact on our planet. That being said, there's still much excitement surrounding the potential aftermath of Betelgeuse's explosion. Some scientists speculate that the collision of the expelled material from the supernova with the star's surrounding outer shell could cause a secondary explosion, a second flash of light that would also be visible from Earth. If this happens, it would only add to the grandeur of the event. While the star's death won't threaten life on Earth, it will provide us with an extraordinary opportunity to observe the forces of nature at work in a way that we've never seen before. What will remain after the supernova? Most likely, the explosive death of Betelgeuse will lead to the formation of a neutron star. These stellar remnants are incredibly dense and massive, and they rotate at mind-boggling speeds. In fact, some neutron stars have been observed spinning up to 700 times per second, far faster than any object in our daily experience could ever rotate. Betelgeuse's eventual neutron star might not spin quite as fast, but it's likely to be one of the fastest rotating neutron stars known to science. 
scientists have speculated that the rapid rotation could be the result of the star swallowing another, smaller star in its past. This process could have transferred the smaller star's angular momentum to Betelgeuse, causing it to spin more quickly than expected. However, other theories suggest that the star's rapid rotation could be related to its massive convection currents, which generate an unusual bipolar velocity field at the surface. These currents cause the star to appear as if it's rotating quickly, even though it may not be spinning as fast as we think. There's still much to learn about Betelgeuse's final moments, and astronomers are working hard to study the star and its strange behavior. As technology improves, they'll continue to gather data and refine their understanding of how stars like Betelgeuse die and what comes after their explosive end. The death of Betelgeuse will undoubtedly be a powerful reminder of the forces at play in the universe, forces that shape the lives of stars and entire galaxies, and ultimately determine the fate of everything around them. For now, we can only wait and watch as Betelgeuse continues its unpredictable journey toward its inevitable end. As we do, we are reminded that the universe is full of mysteries, many of which we are still working to understand. But one thing is certain, the eventual explosion of Betelgeuse will be a sight to behold. Whether it happens in a few thousand years or a few million, we will witness one of the most magnificent displays of nature's power, a reminder that the cosmos is a dynamic, ever-changing place. And when the time comes for Betelgeuse to make its final exit, it will leave behind a lasting impression on all who are lucky enough to witness it. For now, we can only continue to marvel at the beauty and wonder of this magnificent star, watching as it continues to shine, unpredictable, mysterious, and powerful until its ultimate fate is finally revealed.